It is time now for Ruth Epstein from the Republican American with our Republican American Report. Good morning, Ruth. Hello, Marshall. Good morning, Joe. Good morning. So, Ruth, so yes. Ruth, when is this stupid primary in Connecticut going to be over? I think tomorrow at 8, Marshall. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I'm so confused by all the signs I see. Yeah. Here's the, here's the strangest thing. Get the ads. I, I, here's yeah. the strangest yeah. thing. The only thing I know for sure is Ned Lamont is the Connecticut is is is, is running for uh, the Governor. Connecticut, and he's going up against a, a, Joe Gainham. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Joe's out of jail about a year and a half. Two yeah, years. yeah, yeah. And, you can't make this up. Well, yeah. No. I mean, yeah, nowadays, you can. yeah, you can. But, nowadays, yeah. But Ned Lamont is the, is the person who who basically forced Joe Lieberman to run as an independent who right. who, defeated, right. who primaried Lieberman. Use Lieberman's tactics to run against him, like Lieberman did to Lowell Weicker, and and actually won the primary. But then Lieberman, Lieberman got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's so, oh, and they're just—I mean—the list of Republicans re- running. I can't keep and, all the S's straight. And you know what? Nobody's <laughs> putting their party affiliation on their signs. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Well, it's, yeah. It's, is, well, is there a reason? Danger <laughs> Will Robinson. Danger Will Robinson. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. Um, so yes. It'll be over soon, but then we start for the November stuff. So there, there's got to be a better way for elections to be held in this country. Yes, and and how about the money going into all this stuff? Well, this is this is a, another thing that's absolutely st- yeah. is, uh, stunning when you've got when you've got national money going into congressional elections that amount to small small counties, okay? Mm-hmm. And you, that mm-hmm. amount to, to five to ten million dollars in congressional this happened to Andrew Rohrbach, if you remember. Yeah. Yeah. The Democratic yeah. Party came in All with, I could think with, of. with big funds at the last minute uh, to try to defeat him. Uh, and that's not what defeated him. What defeated him was the conservatives backed off uh, and didn't support Andrew. That's what well, he lost, not because of the... But all the money is uh, is unbelievable. It is unbelievable. And, unbelievable. and it's just, when you watch TV, you see that the money drives. It's 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 not about anything but the adverts. It's just, it's crazy. Yep, yep. yep. Oh, well, well. anyway. <laughs> Back to our little corner of the world here. It's a quiet, uh, it's a quiet week, though. It is a very quiet week. We've got, uh, we do have Canaan Board of Selectmen tonight. They moved it up from last week. And I guess we have Falls Village doubleheader tonight. I'm thinking. I think we do too, but uh, yeah, know. but it's not much going on. So, which is a good thing, actually. Yes, it is a good thing. <laughs> give, <laughs> nice give, us all, give us all a little a bit little of a break. breather here. Yes. Um, yeah, I've got hardly anything on my calendar for the rest of the week. So. Yeah, no, it's, it's for the rest of the weekend, even into really the weekend. The but weekend. There's, there's yeah. A couple interesting things to talk about. First of all. Uh, the Sharon Playhouse, I really like the way they're trying to get the community involved. Coming up this Sunday, mm-hmm. if you're a veteran, uh, you'll get two free tickets to see Always Patsy Klein right. for the performance mm-hmm. on Sunday at 3. All you have to do is contact Joanna at 860-921-7566 and leave your name. And two great. tickets will be waiting for you at the Will Call booth. And if you want more information, Marianne Jones at the American Legion and Post mm-hmm. and Sharon is the person to call. Uh, at eight six zero three nine seven five two nine six. That's really a very very nice gesture. Right. Yeah, and I understand the shows have been really good. They've gotten great reviews from the people I've talked to. Yeah, so, that, that's uh, that's a very nice thing. But also, you said there's, there's a couple of things here that are also interesting. First of all, the Salisbury Visiting Nurse Association is now part of the uh, the Hospice for Veterans. So this program uh, that is a national program. They are now doing that locally. Uh, here, but you uh, had somebody sent me uh, a piece of news out of Kent, Ruth. Right, and that yes. is the uh, yeah. Kent Nursing Association merging with, with the with Kent Community Fund. Yes, yes. So uh, this, the KNA has been in existence for decades and decades, and uh, they are now um, decided, as with so many organizations, hard to find volunteers. Uh, you know, missions change, and so. Uh, it is merged, and um, we think it's going to be. Um, I'm, I'm chair of the uh, community fund, so I think it's going to be a good, a good thing for for the town. Um, as far as, I mean, there, the community fund works to help um, folks out in emergencies, and of course, KNA deals with the health care aspect. So together, that should be really good. 
Yeah, that, I, but I found I found that that, that interesting because that's what we, you know, people forget. Those are the things that we really really need in our area. Yes, we do. Um, we had um, well, as you know, last week we had a healing and remembrance for the three young people who were killed in car accidents this past year. Uh, the Housatonic Youth Service Bureau held it at the athletic field at Housatonic, and it was quite moving, and there were representatives from each of the families, and I think um, I think it helped a little bit to know they have community support. It was uh, nicely done. And yesterday we had a dedication for the Shostak Preserve. Uh, Mitchell Shostak died about four years ago. He owns the property almost um, just on the Sharon Salisbury line on Route 7. Uh, and he, he, his wife um, gave 54 acres um, um, that abuts the um, Appalachian Trail. Uh, as you're coming down Route 7 just past the high school, it's a steep part, but it's beautiful landscape. And there was a, a very nice dedication yesterday uh, with all his friends there. So, um, And the... the um, Preserve is being given to the Salisbury Land Trust. Um, so it's always nice to have, um, you know, these people who really care about the land putting it uh, in perpetuity for everyone to use, which is lovely. Yeah, uh, uh, we want to remind people also that with Primary Day coming up on Tuesday, uh, don't bother going to your town halls <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> because town halls are closed town on halls Tuesday. Town halls are closed, yes. Because, and you know, I'm, I sit here all the time and I see it. Uh, when, you know, people yes, come, as you look out the window, yeah. yeah. I also am going to the car, and people want to go to the town hall, and they don't understand that it's a voting day. And it uh, is a voting, yeah. and it is a long one, six a.m. to eight p.m. Oh. So, um, yes, and please vote. I mean, we we joke about all the candidates, but you know, what other country do you have the right to vote? And and how many people don't? That yeah. this the low percentage of voters is staggering. It just boggles my mind. And there's so. a couple of interesting things coming up this weekend. Uh, the St. Martin of Tours a Parish at, uh, at Norfolk has their annual community picnic on Saturday mm-hmm. at 1. And Sharon, uh, a Sharon resident's coming back to talk, and that is Jessie Sheehan. She's going to do her talk, right. the Baker's um, Talk Baker's at the Sharon. Talk. That and that's on Saturday at 4. Right, and a couple of art shows. at the. There's one at the Hunt Library. I believe Sergey Federi- Federizhenko is going to have his show Um so there are some things, but it is a, a quiet, quiet yeah. before the, the last hurrah of summer. So yeah. no doubt we will find things to cover. And mm-hmm. I, want to, I want to plug that the Cornwall Library, because they asked me to, is having Adam Van Doren discussing his mm. book, The Stones, Stones of, of Yale, Yale. Uh, yes, 5 yes. p.m. on Saturday. And everybody knows Adam. Uh, they live in Cornwall, the, the Van Doren family, and he's done some really great books. And he was at the book signing in Sharon the other day, yeah. too. So. So just... just it's a quiet week, but those are just some of the things that, that are going on. And you know what, Ruth, we deserve quiet weeks every once in a while. <laughs> but you know, Marshall, quiet never turns quiet. It never no. yes, it's, it's always, it's, it's like a glow, it's like no. a yellow. It, yeah. Well, one thing we can say, hopefully, the Region 1 can't rear its ugly head, hopefully, in hopefully, the middle of summer. Yeah, we've got, well, oh, you got time. It's, just start, it's, <laughs> it's coming starts. up, though. I yeah. would assume the uh, new teachers meeting will be coming up shortly, and uh we're, we'll be on the run yeah. here again, Marshall. Yes. <laughs> and, and the uh, hospital issue. Uh, yeah, it's not going to go away, yeah. Yeah, that's, again, the, um, I believe they're going to be discussing it at the October, October, August 28th meeting of the Board of Selectmen and yes. Sharon. They're going to add it to, until, they're going to add it to the Selectmen's agenda, I think, until it's really decided. Yeah, yeah. and give people a chance to talk. So. All right. All well, right, Ruth. We, it's quiet, but we still. Don't use that word. Yeah, I should. Uh, okay. We'll jinx. We'll right. jinx it. Okay. <laughs> well, have a good week. Thanks. You too, guys. <laughs> Take, Take care. care. Bye bye. Ruth Epstein from the Republican American with the Republican American Report. Find out more, of course, at rap-am.com.